Hello everyone and welcome to Monkey Fish channel. Some time ago I have seen that Rokas from Much Hard Journey posted a challenge for Wing Chun people and me as an ex Wing Chun practitioner I would like to talk a little bit about this. But I will not pick any side, I don't want to offend or defend anyone, I will just be somewhere between. Alright people, let's start from the beginning one last time. My name is Damian, aka Monkey Feast. I am martial artist from 2008 and I was practicing Wing Chun from 2011 to 2014. In this time I was training hard, I did forms, I was testing my Wing Chun in open tournaments and against people from other styles. And this is it. I know that I am really late with making this video because Rock has already made another video where he covered a lot of things what I would like to say. If you seek functionality and functionality only, it could be argued that striking will end up looking like striking, grappling like grappling, and so on. And I can see why Wing Chun slowly getting really bad reputation and everything is because of the lack of the practical training, like sparring. And many schools, but not all of them, but many schools using Chi Sao as a sparring. And the truth is that Chi Sao is only training method. But I cannot say that it's completely useless because even now when I am not a Wing Chun practitioner anymore, I still using something from that. In my opinion, and I know it's going to sound really cheesy, and a lot of people, especially those who practice questionable martial arts, love this sentence. And the sentence is, it's not about the style, it's about the user. And the sentence is really cool because this can cover almost all fails what you can find on internet. But this is a truth because style is only a tool in the hands of the user. So you should not believe that your style is going to save you, you should trust your fighting skills. And I think that Rokas is the person who knows about this the best. Because he was believing in his style in this Aikido versus MMA sparring. And after that he got a lot of hate from Aikido people who said to him that he failed, not Aikido. So we're coming back again to the sentence that it's not about the style, it's about the user. When I made the video where I sparred an MMA fighter having only Aikido training myself, I thought that it will put an end to the discussion. That it will prove that Aikido does not work once and for all. But I was wrong. Many people blamed me for failing as a practitioner and turned their eyes away from the practice itself as the guilt barrier. So, if you look at style as a tool, then we cannot put everything to the same bucket. For example, somebody with great skills who have a good tools can build amazing things. Somebody with great skills and bad tools can still build something good. But somebody who has the best tools and no skills, he maybe can, maybe not. He can at least try. And of course we have those who have no tools and no skills. In my opinion, we should look at style as a profession. It is a combination of skills, knowledge and experience. For example, if you need to go to the doctor, probably you would like to find the best doctor for you. You can have two doctors who are specialists in the same thing, but still one can be better than another. So you cannot say doctor is a doctor. So style cannot decide what is your fighting skill, but you can. And here I can speak only for myself. I know I am not the best fighter. I'm not even close to being good. I am just a hobbyist, but I believe that martial artists should ask questions and search for the answers. Not only believe the stories told by your instructor or teacher, or even movies. I know that a lot of people start Wing Chun after Ip Man movie. I know because I was one of them, because when I have seen this movie, I was feeling, oh my God, it's so cool, I have to try it. And this is how I started training Wing Chun. And I know that a lot of people believe that after a few months or years, they go and be like Donnie Yen in Ip Man movie, who can beat 10 black belts by himself. But this is not true. In my opinion, it's nothing wrong with Wing Chun, because as I said before, style is just a tool. And if we imagine that this is a practitioner and this is a style, we have a lot of space between. And in this space we can put organizations, schools or clubs, and teachers or instructors. And everything was between practitioner and style can help you or be on your way. Because I believe that everyone who starts some martial arts, they came there for some reason. Like they want to know how to defend themselves or they just want to know how to fight. And if they cannot do this after some time, it means that something is wrong. And this is the wrong part. This thing was in between. And here again, I can speak only for myself. I have tried four different Wing Chun schools. 
and two of them was from the big organizations but I would not call any names here. And three out of four was at traditional schools where we did mostly forms, applications and drills and more advanced students they did chisau as a sparring. But this last group was completely different. We did not follow any programs and we was not that focused about forms and we spar, so we was fighting each other. So actually you can find some group where you can learn how to fight. And I do not say that these groups where they do only forms are wrong because everyone have a different reason. If you do this just to go out from your home or meet some people or do something for your health, this is completely fine. But if you do this to know how to fight or know how to defend yourself and you never spar, I don't think that this is place for you and you should found probably different school. This is just my opinion, but you can do what you want. Actually I think that schools where you never spar are extremely dangerous for the members because they just send you lies to them and later we can see on internet all those videos when we are losing and losing. But again you can say it's not about the star, it's about the user. But I don't think that those guys are beginners. I think that those guys are actually high level or even masters because I don't think beginner with one to five months experience going to take a challenge from MMA fighter. I think those guys think that they are good and they can fight but you know everything works pretty well when you train with your partner drilling some exercises but when somebody want to hit you for real it's completely different. For what I can see those guys might know thousand techniques but when they get first punch to the face they forget all of them and this is why I think that is extremely dangerous because those guys believe that they can fight or they can protect themselves and what if in the future they have to protect themselves and they figure out that they cannot do it this story can end up really bad and I know I can sound like hater right now but I am not I really like Wing Chun I think it's a really unique style and have a lot of useful things to offer and even now when my last Wing Chun training was almost 10 years ago I still using Wing Chun techniques and people can make jokes or laugh about this or saying stuff like uh, trapping doesn't work, I did it. So I think this style is really unique and have a lot of good things to offer and can be dangerous but you have to understand how to use it. And you can find some fighters who can use Wing Chun in the ring or cage and this is really a proof that this style is not completely useless like many people think. So as I said before, real martial artists should ask questions and search for the answers. So if you feel offended by the challenge which Rokas gave you, don't do this for him, do it for yourself. So this is it, thank you for watching, see you next time.